Hello, good afternoon members. Welcome to another pro tip video. I hope everyone's been enjoying the better weather we're having uh, and the spring has definitely come to Glen here. The improvement on the greens has been noticeable over the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm out on the chipping area today giving you a little tip on how you can improve your pace control when chipping. Now, if you haven't seen last week's video, go back and have a look. That gives you my best three tips to improve your technique. Now, this week is going to look to improve uh, your pace control when using that those those te those tips I gave you. So if you look to the green very quickly there, you'll see I've got two T markers down there, roughly about three meters apart. I'd say it's a fair sort of distance to do this challenge with. And Mr. Harry and I have been trying to do it for the last twenty minutes or so. We haven't done very well, but the idea is is that we're going to try and chip as many golf balls within that designated area, and each ball has to be progressively get further than the last one and the idea is then it starts to improve your feel and touch around the greens um, so I'm going to give it a little go see how we get on so I'm going to aim for the first tee first not too bad we got it obviously the closer you get that first shot to the to the first tee marker two three there's a little bit of room in there for one more, maybe. Have to be a good shot. Just about, maybe. I think I'd, I think I'd struggle to get any more. I'd say four is a good target. If you can get more than four within that area, it's really going to start to improve your sort of awareness and pace control, really, around, around the greens, particularly when using the chip and run shot. So I will be watching from the pro shop to see if anyone's coming up to give it a go. And we'll see who can get the most golf balls in that area. And I'll announce it in next week's video. So come and give it a go. Until then, all the best and bye for now.